I'm so glad you're able to join me for this overview of lazy loading. By adding the size of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, fonts, images, and video, we can determine the total size of a web page. The average size of web pages continues to increase year by year. As you can see in this chart from Web Almanac, images are the biggest part of any web page for both mobile and desktop users. This is important to us because we are developing web pages for an international audience and we need to account for customers who have slower access. Before 2019, the default behavior of the web browser was to load all the resources on a web page. To prevent this, we had to write tricky scripts using the intersection observer. Now we can just add an attribute on the image tag and the browser defers loading the image until it's about to enter the viewport. This is important because if the user decides they don't want to see any more of the page, they don't have to use their data plan to download everything else on that page. In this web page featuring Honduras, you can see lazy loading at work. First open the developer tools and select the network tab. Then reload the page. Down here you can see that we are loading 94 items and the page is 1 megabytes so far. As we scroll down the page, you can see the images being loaded as they come into view. When we reach the bottom of the page, we now have 101 items downloaded, and the page size has more than doubled from these seven images. So what do we need to do to lazy load our images? First, you need to make sure that you have the width and height set in the HTML tag. Notice that this value is just a number with no pixels after it. That's because the browser uses it as a ratio. Next, you need to be sure to add an attribute to lazy load. In your CSS, you need to set the image to be 100% of its parent tag. In this example, the figure is the parent element. To prevent distorting your image, you also need to add height equals auto. Let's take a look at my example in slow motion. Here I have my desktop browser. The entire web page has a total of 14 images. Chrome initially loads two images in the viewport and the next three below that. That gives me 14 requests and an initial page size of 196 kilobytes transferred. Once I scroll to the bottom of the page, I have 23 requests and my total page size has grown to 474 kilobytes. Firefox also loads the first five images. Opera loads the first five images as well. Safari is a bit different. It only loads the first four images. So what can we learn from these examples? We see that major browsers do implement lazy loading. And we learn that they load two or three images below the viewport. If you want more precise control over lazy loading, then you'll need to learn about the Intersection Observer. Now let's look at some common mistakes I see students make so that you can avoid making these yourself. Remember, as we just saw, the browser loads everything in the viewport, plus a few images just below the viewport. If you open your Inspect Tools and slow down the network, you can see what I'm talking about yourself. Remember that a browser does not know the size of an image until that image arrives from the server. If you fail to add the image width and height in your HTML, then when the page first loads, it creates a space for the images that is zero pixels tall. Since all the images are initially zero pixels tall, nine of them are in the viewport, and the last three are just below the viewport. So the browser requests all of the images even though the user has not scrolled down the page. The end result is a lazy load failure. If you leave off width equals 100% and height equals auto in your CSS, then the images actually do lazy load. But on small screens, they're whacked off on the right side. When you set the width to 100% in your CSS, but you forget to add height equals auto or you put a max height on them, 
then the images are squished on small screens and stretched on large screens. Either way, you have a design failure. So let's review everything you need for proper lazy loading. First, crop a series of photos the same width and height so they're consistent. Save them in the WebP format. In your HTML code, add an attribute of loading equals lazy. Add a width value and add a height value. In the CSS image selector, set the width to 100% and the height to auto. Let's all be responsible web developers and keep our pages as small as possible.